How you doing everybody? It's your boy Vic here. I'm bringing you another review of uh, a custom piece. It's a really cool piece. It's made by a guy that be on Facebook. He's a real cool guy. His name is Tony Umali and I believe he's from Chiseltown Sculpt Studios. Um, this is the custom Akuma, you know, and this is a quarter scale and this is the base the bottom of the base. This is number two of twelve. You know what I mean? And I even had him sign it here. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh just gonna take him out the box because I don't think it really needs to be built much. You know, just the regular put the pieces back on type stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Diddy diddy doom. Another piece. Another piece. All right. Now, I got this piece back. All right, from Lou. I had traded him for something else that I that I had wanted, and I wound up trading it back. So. Like I was saying, so this is the way he set up, right? So, his head, and put it on him. Okay, this is the Tony O'Malley Akuma, minus his gi top. So, uh, here you go, guys. It's a beautiful piece. It's a very, I mean, look, this is not like the PCS one, you know. I mean, this is a custom, and no one's going to make an Akuma like, uh, like Jerry Macaluso, you know. But this one for me, for me, <coughs> is a close second, man. Just looking at it, you can see that it's got the face, the hair, everything is on point on this guy. All right, guys, so now the good thing about this one, which makes it a little different, is that it comes with a little light-up feature. And as you can see, the back has got his uh, famous tattoo, and it's like with a clear resin on it, man, and you can actually see the light. And then when you put the Akuma's head on, you know, his eyes are red, and you can kind of see it. You see that? Now, this is a very bright room that I'm in, but if I was in, a, in like, say, in my statue room, this would be glowing like crazy, you know? And this is what makes it a great piece. My thing is, is that even if I had the gi, I would have it off of his body and, like, pulled over the belt that comes with it, with this belt, so that way... He has the gi on, but it looks like he's ready to rock, and he got the tattoo that's bright in the back. I mean, come on. And this I would probably pose with a mirror on the back, so that way you can see it if I ever wanted to turn it on. I mean, how many people turn their statues on on a regular basis? Because I know I don't, but just knowing that you can is what's good about it, right? You know, so uh, may I have the official feather duster, my love? Well, anyway, guys, there's going to be photos of this. You're going to see a lot of uh, pics. I'm just going to give it the little dust off a little bit so that way. That way we get it all nice and tidy looking. See that? Looks beautiful. I have three different types of dusters, okay? I got that one. I got the Swifter, and I use a very, very soft uh, paintbrush very soft you know and that's just to get into the nooks and crannies and it's about an inch wide you know and flat inch so you can get inside sometimes the dusters don't get all the way in and you wanna so I mean I don't do it all the time but when I do I do it thoroughly so 
It's up to you what you guys want to use. A little air can too I have, just in case. You never know. Get lazy. All right, guys. So listen, the Akuma is beautiful. I think it's a masterpiece. Um, like I said, I traded it with Lou. I got. I just traded for it again. I got it back, and this time I think I'm going to keep it. So all I can say is, man, what do you think? Have a good one, guys. Thank you for checking my stuff out. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to comment. Um, and also, we do a weekly show. Okay? And uh, you can check us out. Just go on Google+. Plus, and you can add me to your circles and stuff. And add Hero Statue Collector Lou. And uh, you'll get an invite. You can come on. Remember, it's first come, first gets on. Okay, guys? Have a good one. Peace. Thank you.